I was given this Makeda demo saw, EK8100. It's an old herb, but it's still a pretty, pretty good saw. And apparently the uh, guy that was using it didn't know that it was two stroke and cooked it. So I went the other week and I ordered some parts, new bolts, because there's missing bolts and stuff. I got a new piston and ring and the little roller bearing that goes in the top of the crankshaft there, or the conrod, sorry. So hopefully that all fits. This was the piston, so you can see there's a bit of ring stuck in there. It's all shaved up, so that was obviously the problem. And there was a few little lines in the bore, but I was able to hone it out, so I didn't have to buy a new one. This is two stroke, so it's got a bit of oil in there, so that'll be good to keep all the bearings lubricated in there. Chip it in. Now I can just spin it around and hopefully clean it out a bit. Right, I'll go tip that out and then I'll uh, do that a couple of times. Flush that out about four times with, or five times with petrol and it looks clean as a whistle in there now so I'll be happy with that. It's not ideal obviously but I've got it in that condition like pulled apart so nothing I can really do. Push the gudgeon pin in. I finally got that circle in. It was a bit of a struggle, but I just flicked it in with the biggest screwdriver. And I always like to just turn it a little bit and you make sure it goes into the groove. If you don't do that, you don't really know if it's going into the groove. So if you just rotate it a little bit, then you know it's going into the groove. All right, so a little bit of oil on it. And the ring just to lubricate it to go in. Put a bit in here. Rub it around. Bring the pot in. Slide it down and over. And hopefully, I'll just slide over that ring, just like that. Just drop down like that, and be good to bolt on. Tighten it up. And hopefully, it's good enough. Mostly out of curiosity, I'm going to put a compression gauge on it and just see what compression it's pumping out. Obviously the ring hasn't better in or anything and then once I've run it for a bit then I'll um, check it again. Yeah, what are we looking at? 180, that's a really good compression. So that couldn't have really worked out any better. That would be factory spec. So that's good. That plug back in. Now yeah, I can put the rest of it back together, I suppose. Work out what goes first. Well, this recoil cover back on. Alrighty! Woo! Getting there. Put this air filter back together, like I was talking about before. This cover can go over the top of it all. Yeah, we give it out and blow it off. And if I determine that it's a running good working saw, I'll probably clean all this up a bit. Alrighty. Top cover. Which is good. We've got two straight right here. Probably need to oh, okay, now. Okay. Got a temporary little blade in there just a uh, metal cut off wheel with. See what it sounds like idling now.
Well, it's running good, it's just running very hot and very high. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>